Hannibal was born in Carthage in 247 BC. From the moment he was born, he hated Rome. Hannibal hated Rome so much that he decided to do the impossible, invade Rome through the Alps. In 218 BC, Hannibal marched 60,000 troops across the frozen Alps into Rome. Hannibal had early success in battles until he ultimately lost to Rome. In 183 BC, he drank poison so the Romans wouldn't capture him. Attila was a Hun born in 400 AD. He was born and raised in Eurasia but spent most of his early life training on a boat. He became co-king of the Huns in 435 AD when his father was killed. In 444 AD, he murders the other co-king and becomes the sole leader of the Huns. Attila devoted his life to raiding cities and stealing all of their money. He could easily be bribed out of a fight. In 449 AD, the East Romans attempted to kill Attila but failed. However, four years later, Attila choked on his blood in his sleep and died. But if these people and their armies decided to battle, who would win? Army size. We know that Hannibal's army size was around 90,000 infantry and 12,000 cavalry of elephants, while Attila's army had around an estimated 250,000 soldiers. When it comes down to army size, we can see that Attila has more soldiers and therefore has the upper hand. Animals As said in the beginning, elephants were a big part of Hannibal's army, which he used as cavalry to knock over Roman soldiers in battle. But Attila and the Huns' entire early rise were dedicated to becoming skilled horsemen who could shoot bows and ride around enemies at top speed. When we look at animals, they are about equal because while Hannibal has the big elephants, they are also slow, and Attila has the small, fast horses. Strategy Hannibal, like we said earlier, used elephants to knock over different soldiers while making different random movements, while Attila and the Huns were skilled horsemen who could shoot arrows while riding. They were also very talented with whips, and they were able to tie people up and drag. When it comes down to strategy, Hannibal has the advantage because Attila mainly uses his strategy to raid cities and villages, while Hannibal uses his in wars. Weapons. Hannibal had a very diverse set of weapons including swords, spears, shields, and one of the most effective weapons, the slingshot. When it comes to weapons, Hannibal has the advantage at a closer range fight, but Attila will have the advantage at a longer range fight. Now with all that considered, let's simulate the battle. Based on the sizes of their armies, Attila had the upper hand. When we look at the animals they had, Hannibal's elephants may be big, but they are also very slow. In comparison, Attila had very fast horses that could easily take out these slow giants. Based on strategy, I am led to believe that Attila would win. Because of Hannibal's very short range, Attila could attack from afar with his bow people and peck away at Hannibal's elephants with his fast horses. 